Hi, everybody. Tonight, we're going to be doing Genesis, chapters 9, 10, and 11. Genesis chapter 9. The first book of Moses called Genesis chapter 9. And God blessed Noah and his sons and said unto them, Be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth. And the fear of you and the dread of you shall be upon every beast of the earth and upon every fowl of the air, upon all that moveth upon the earth and upon all the fishes of the sea into your hand are they delivered. Every morning, every moving thing that liveth shall be meat for you, even as the garden herb have I given you all things. But flesh with the life thereof, which is the blood thereof, shall ye not eat. And surely your blood of your lives will I require. At the hand of every beast will I require it, and at the hand of man and at the hand of every man's brother will I require the life of man. Whoso sheddeth man's blood by man shall his blood be shed. For in the image of God made he man. And you be ye fruitful, multiply, bring forth abundantly in the earth and multiply therein. And God spake unto Noah and to his sons with him saying, and I behold, I establish my covenant with you and with your seed after you and with every living creature that is with you of the fowl of the cattle and of every beast of the earth with you from all that go out of the ark to every beast of the earth. And I will establish my covenant with you. Neither shall all flesh be cut off any more by the waters of the flood. Neither shall there be any more Neither shall there any more be a flood to destroy the earth. And God said, This is the token of the covenant which I make between me and you and every living creature that is with you for perpetual generations. I do set my bow in the cloud, and it shall be a token of a covenant between me and the earth. And it shall come to pass when I bring a cloud over the earth that the bow shall be seen in the cloud. And I will remember my covenant, which is between me and you and every living creature of all flesh. And the waters shall no more become a flood to destroy all flesh. And the bow shall be in the cloud and I will look upon it that I may remember the everlasting covenant between God and every living creature of all flesh that is upon the earth. And God said unto Noah, this is the token of the covenant which I have established between me and all flesh that is upon the earth. And the sons of Noah that went forth of the ark were Shem, Ham, and Japheth. And Ham is the father of Canaan. These are the three sons of Noah, and of them was the whole world overspread. And Noah begat to be an husbandman, and he planted a vineyard, and he drank of the wine, and he was drunk, drunken, and he was uncovered within his tent. And Ham, the father of Canaan, saw the nakedness of his father and told his two brethren without. And Shem and Japheth took a garment and laid it both upon their shoulder and went backward and covered the nakedness of their father and their faces were backward and they saw not their father's nakedness. And Noah awoke from his wine and knew what his younger son had done unto him. And he said, Cursed be Canaan, a servant of servants shall he be unto his brethren. And he said, Blessed be the Lord God of Shem, and Canaan shall be his servant. God shall enlarge Japheth, and he shall dwell in the tents of Shem, and Canaan shall be his servant. 
And Noah lived after the flood 350 years, and all the days of Noah were 950 years, and he died. Chapter 10. Now these are the generations of the sons of Noah, Shem, Ham, and Japheth, and unto them were sons born after the flood. The sons of Japheth, Gomer, and Magog, and Middal, and Javan, and Tubal, and Meshech, and Tiras, and the sons of Gomer, Ashkenaz, and Ripath, and Togermah, and the sons of Javan, Elisha, and Tarshish, Kittim, and Dodanim. But these are the isles of the Gentiles divided into in their lands, every one after his tongue, after their families in their nations. And the sons of Ham, Cush and Mizraim, and Foot in Canaan. And the sons of Cush, Seba and Havot, Havila and Sabta and Rama and Sabtecha and the sons of Rama, Sheba and Dedan. And Kish begat Nimrod. He began to be a mighty one in the earth. He was a mighty hunter before the Lord. Wherefore it is said, even as Nimrod the mighty hunter before the Lord. And the beginning of his kingdom was Babel and Erech, and Akkad, and Cana, in the land of Shinar. Out of that land went forth Asher, and built Nineveh, in the city of Rehoboth, and Kala, and Resin between Nineveh and Kala, the same is a great city. And Mizraim begat Ludim, and Anamim, and Leabim, and Naphtuhim, and Pathrusim, and Kasluhim, out of whom, out of whom came Philistim, and Capthurim, and Canaan begat Sidon his firstborn, and Heth, and the Jebusite, and the Amorite, and the Gergesite, and the Hivite, and the Archite, and the Sinite, and the Arvidite, and the Zemurite, and the Hamathite, and afterwards were the families of the Canaanites spread abroad. So here's an aside here. So all these are all these ites, giants from Canaan. And there's 36 tribes of giants that are mentioned in the Bible, but like they're all from Canaan. It seems like. Okay. But they don't mention them all here. Right here. But yeah. And they spread abroad. It's like Phoenician Canaanite sailors. Like, hello. Okay. Genesis 19. And the border of the Canaanites was from Sidon, as thou comest to Gerar, unto Gaza, as thou goest, unto Sodom and Gomorrah, and to Adma and Zeboim, even unto Lasha. These are the sons of Ham, after their families, after their tongues, in their countries, and in their nations. So, they're all cursed. And to Shem also, the father of all the children of Eber, the brother of Japheth, the elder, even to him were children born. The children of Shem, Elam and Asher, and Arphaxad, and Lud, and Aram, and the children of Aram, Uz, and Hul, and Dether, and Mash. And Arphaxad begot Salah, and Salah begot Eber. And unto Eber were born two sons, the name of one was Peleg, for in his day, so was the earth divided, and his brother's name was Joktan. And Joktan begot Almadad, and Sheleph, and Hazarmaveth, and Jerah, and Hadaram, and Uzal, and Dikla, 
and Obal, and Abimael, and Sheba, and Ophir, and Havilah, and Jobab. All these were the sons of Joktan. And their dwelling was from Mesha, as thou goest into Safar, a mount of the east. These are the sons of Shem, after their families, after their tongues, in their lands, after their nations. These are the families of the sons of Noah, after their generations, in their nations, and by these were the nations divided in the earth after the flood. Chapter 11. And the whole earth was of one language and of one speech. And it came to pass as they journeyed from the east that they found a plain in the land of Shinar and they dwelt there. And they said one to another, go to, let us make brick and burn them thoroughly. And they had brick for stone and slime they had they for mortar. And they said, go to, let us build us a city and a tower whose top may reach unto heaven. And let us make a, us a name, lest we be scattered abroad upon the face of the whole earth. And the Lord came down to see the city and the tower which the children of men builded. And the Lord said, Behold, the people is one, and they have all one language. And this they begin to do, and now nothing will be restrained from them, which they have imagined to do. Go to, let us go down, and there confound their language, that they may not understand one another's speech. So the Lord scattered them abroad from thence upon the face of all the earth, and they left off to build the city. Therefore is the name of it called Babel, because the Lord did there confound the language of all the earth. And from thence did the Lord scatter them abroad upon the face of the earth. These are the generations of Shem. Shem was an hundred years old and begat Arphaxad two years after the flood. And Shem lived after he begat Arphaxad five hundred years and begat sons and daughters. And Arphaxad lived five hundred and thirty years and begat Salah. And Arphaxad lived after he begat Salah four hundred and three years and begat sons and daughters. And Salah lived 30 years and begat Eber. And Salah lived after he begat Eber 403 years and begat sons and daughters. And Eber lived 430 years and begat Peleg. And Eber lived after he begat Peleg 430 years and begat sons and daughters. And Peleg lived 30 years and begat Ru. And Peleg lived after he begat Ru 209 years and begat sons and daughters. And Ru lived two and 30 years and begat Sarug. And Ru lived after he begat Sarug 207 years and begat sons and daughters. And Sarug lived 30 years and begat Nahor. And Sarug lived after he begat Nahor 200 years and begat sons and daughters. And Nahor lived nine and twenty years and begat Terah. And Nahor lived after he begat Terah an hundred and nineteen years and begat sons and daughters. And Terah lived seventy years and begat Abram, Nahor, and Haran. Now these are the generations of Terah. Terah begat Abram, Nahor, and Haran. And Haran begat Lot. And Haran died before his father Terah in the land of his nativity in Ur of the Chaldees. And Abram and Nahor took them wives. The name of Abram's wife was Sarai, and the name of Nahor's wife, Milcah, the daughter of Haran, the father of Milcah, and the father of Iscah. But Sarai was barren, she had no child. 
And Terah took Abram's son and Lot, the son of Haran, the son, his son's son, and Sarai, his daughter-in-law, his son Abram's wife. And they went forth with them from Ur of the Chaldees to go into the land of Canaan. And they came unto Haran and dwelt there. And the days of Terah were 205 years, and Terah died in Haran. That's pretty good. So chapter 9 is about the covenant, the rainbow that we're going to see every time, promising no more flood. That's what that, that is. And so, chapter 10, well, in chapter 9, Noah put a curse on Ham's son, said, Cursed be Canaan, a servant, a servant shall he be unto his brethren. And he said, his two brothers, they're all going to be servants to you too. And there are a bunch of giants in this land. They're all ites. It, and it doesn't name all 36 tribes of giants, but these people are all giants. And then in chapter 11, we get into everybody was speaking one language and um, they wanted to reach heaven and take over. And God's like, no way, you're not doing that. You're getting all separated and all your languages are going to get separated. You're not going to understand anything. You're not going to be able to cooperate with each other anymore. To come against me. Huh. Yeah, so then tomorrow we will get into Abram, looking like, praise the Lord, everybody. You never know when the word will change and like CERN, just like you open the Bible and there's like, it's like all like computer stuff or something, who knows what it's going to be. It's not going to be like, who knows. Some things can change. And so, it's another good reason to put it on YouTube because who knows? Maybe the only place we can try to find it. But that'll be down too. So it's just a good thing to try to remember everything. <laughs> How do you think can you do that except if you keep, gotta keep reading it. Good night.